all right so if you clicked on this video it means that you want to learn how to use blender or more specifically you want to learn how to animate products like this one so this tutorial is actually going to be a bit different because i am not going to go fully step by step but i am going to be showing you guys the process and at the end i want to show you why i did certain things the way that i did them that way you guys can see how you could in the future set up your own scenes to actually make sure that the lighting the lighting the cameras and the products and the field of view and everything play along together very nicely and smoothly so that being said let's jump right into the video all right so really quickly i'm going to show you on how i went uh, about creating modeling and texturing this uh concrete brick and the coffee cup and even added some quick droplets onto my coffee cup now do keep in mind that if you don't want to watch this part of the video you could skip onto this number that i'm going to be leaving you right here this timestamp, um or you could also go ahead into my patreon and you'll be you'll be able to have access to the project file with the model of the coffee cup being textured and the concrete brick also with the uh, concrete texture but anyways that being said let's jump right into the video so the first thing i had to do to pretty much come up with this uh scene was to create the concrete brick for the concrete brick all i literally did was i added a cube to that cube i added a mirror modifier then i went ahead and i selected the top and the bottom faces of the cube insert it extruded it so that it connects up at the top and at the bottom with the hole in, in it on the left side, I added two edge loops on each corner to be able to extrude these two little angles outwards a bit so that you have that nice little inset in the metal. Now, what you would do is on that inset in the metal, you'll select the edges, the edge loops, and you will go ahead and control B to create a bevel. Now, whatever you do to this side, keep in mind that with that mirror modifier, you'll be doing it to the other side. So you should have a concrete brick like this one. Now, what you would do is you would go ahead and apply the mirror modifier you would go ahead and rematch your model. And the only reason why we're gonna rematch is because we're gonna go ahead and grab this and take it into sculpting within Blender, of course, and go ahead and start literally just drawing some random stuff around your concrete brick. The only reason why we're doing this is so that the concrete brick is not so perfect and it has some nice little distortions around it. And uh, this just would literally just add a bit more of realism onto your model. Now, once we have our brick pretty much modeled which was pretty quickly and easy all we have to do now is add a nice little uh texture to it now really quickly for the texture all i did was i added a color ramp into my principal bsdf base color i added a noise texture connected that to the color ramp um the scale i i went up to 75 the detail to 15 the roughness at 0.5 and then the distortion keep it at zero the fact of the noise texture you would connect it onto the color ramp on the color ramp to the left make that uh into a nice little stone gray or you could you know pretty much just adjust it to whatever gray you want and on the right you would want to have a nice little yellowish white tone of uh, color now for the normal you will connect a bump with the strength of 0.367 which is what i have here but you can also go ahead and play with that then add another bump into the normal this would just add a bit more detail onto it strength all the way up to one and then for the color ramp, you add another color ramp this color ramp being uh, to the left being a nice little light gray and then white uh which again you could just adjust how i have it here or you could go ahead and play with it however you want now you would also add a Voronoi uh, Vor texture onto your color ramp uh, for the detail, uh, I did 13.5 for the roughness, uh, kept it at zero and uh, for the random for the random all the way up. Now, I went ahead just for some extra details. I added a noise texture onto the raw noise texture. I connected the fact onto the scale. And uh, this is how I was able to end up with this nice little cool concrete texture. All right. Next thing that we have to do now is literally just create the uh, model of our coffee cup. Now, the coffee cup is divided into three different pieces. We got the... Um, the actual glass itself we got the lid and we got the straw straw being the easiest one so i started with the actual uh cup for the cup all you have to do is literally go ahead and insert a circle also you want to go ahead and add an Im a reference a image reference uh of how you want to model how you want the cup to look like that would just help you pretty much just get the, the the overall shape of it to be pretty much perfect quote unquote um so with that circle what you want to do is go into edit mode base uh select all all the uh vertices uh f fill it in and then you want to go ahead and start extruding all the way up uh, while following the basic shape of the actual cup. So once you have that shape, all you literally want to do is make sure that for your lid, that top part of your cup, 
So I like the interfaces, uh, duplicate them, P to separate. And then what you want to do is scale it down a bit so it fits perfectly on the top of the cup. And then you start extruding up and extruding outwards to make your lid. Once you have your lid made, all you got to do is make an inner circle at the very top and make sure that it's perfectly connected at the bottom. So that way we could fit our straw in, which for the straw, all, all I literally did was I added a cylinder. With the cylinder, I went and scaled it on the Z axis to make it longer, of course. And then I went and selected the top and the bottom face insert and set it enough to have some sort of thickness onto the um straw and then i said i deleted those faces and uh selected the inner loop and i went ahead and bridge edge loop uh those two so that way you get a nice little straw once you have that all you have to do now is pretty much just add some branding onto it which is pretty straightforward and texture it for the texture on the cup all i did was i added a principal bsdf transmission all the way up and the roughness you could either keep it all the way at zero so that you have a nice little clear cup or if you want to add some nice little roughness onto it just bring it to about 0.1 and that should do the trick now for the wood on the lid when as following i added a color ramp uh to the base color uh to the left as you can see i did a nice little orange uh orange yellowish uh uh skin tone color I added to the right a nice little dark brown. If you want, you could do black, but you could also play around with the colors to your liking. Then I added a bump note onto my normal mat. And then what I went and did was I added a noise texture and that noise texture plugged it in onto both color ramps and the uh, bump node. Scale kept it at 21.4, detail two, roughness 0.5. Um, and then I went ahead and added a musgrave texture and that scale, I bring it up all the way up to 6.2 detail 2 dimension 10.7 and then i went ahead and wh while clicking on my musgrave texture Control t to add a mapping and a texture coordinate node and you would end up with a nice wood texture like this one so for the branding all i did was i imported this image that i had a png image no background just the logo you could also have whatever you want it could be with background without background with a lot of text with just the logo it could be whatever you want the branding to be but literally you add this image onto your uh scene and then what you would do is you would go into edit mode while selecting your image, uh, subdivide it so you can have some faces inside. And then you would attach this image very close to the surface of your cup. Then go to the modifier tab, add a shrink wrap modifier onto your image while having your cup selected as the target. And then just pretty much play around with the offset, with the limit, with the subdivision levels, uh, with the snap mode and with the wrap method. And the more you play with it, also a uh, quick tip, if you wanted to have more, if you want to have more freedom as, as to how it looks and how it's portrayed on your cup, all you got to do is select your image and move it uh, front and backwards a bit and you'll see some sort of difference as well. So for the droplets, literally all I did was I did some quick uh, geometry notes, which if you want, you can copy my geometry note that you can see here. Uh, copy that or like I said, if you don't want have to have to go through all that go to the description down below and uh, Go to my patreon and download the uh, project file and there you'll have all the um, assets But pretty much when we get to this point we have all of our uh, models um, And assets that we're gonna be using to set up the uh, animation. So for the animation pretty easy and straightforward what I did was After editing this this process was so boring and long to explain so here's a quick away all I did was I added my plane, I added my brick concrete wall, I added my main product with the brick platform, I added my backlight, my main light, and then I added the spotlight. And just like that, you're able to create this nice, beautiful, cinematic look for any product that you're looking to promote or work on. Now, for the animation. Animation, all I did was, uh, as you can see, I'm on camera view right here. All I really did was I added a animation rotation to my uh, platform and my coffee cup, as you can see over here. It's pretty much just being animated uh, at a 45 degree angle rotation, as you can see, and then it reveals and it basically faces the um, camera. For the camera itself, I just added a rotation on the X axis. So that way it faces up and then comes down onto revealing the um, scene. And as you can see, it's pre pretty much also being animated, moving on forward into our product. So it has that nice little zoom that gives it a cinematic look to it. And lastly, for the um, animations on the light, the only light that was really animated was the um, spotlight. And the way that I was able to get this um, spotlight reveal animation done, as you can see here, it's by having this plane being placed in front of my spotlight. And then whenever I want the spotlight to be revealed, I would just animate the uh, plane moving 
um to the side like so now a quick tip that i want to give you guys before i end this video um that really helped my uh animation look a bit uh more cinematic more professional and have a really 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 good contrast um was to basically take each um object each element and add some nice spacing in between us so you can see here there is a very good spacing between what i call my foreground my mid ground and my background and that what that would pretty much help you with is to add this nice um contrast and depth of, of look um from again having this background lit lit up differently from my mid ground and my background and again you can pretty much do this with so many different things uh you can see this basically on a let's say you if you're doing that environment you have your foreground being the grass mid ground let's say being the lake and then the background pretty much is being uh mountains and the sky so i hope that explained a bit of my creative process on how to how i came up with this shot um i really would want to see you guys taking this scene and seeing how you guys can bring it up to the next level so if you guys want to come up with your own scenes even if you want to take the environment i want to see animations i want to see what you guys come up with um even if you change the aesthetic a bit that would that would be cool the lighting the different lighting colors um the brick material if you want to change it the cup if you want to change the drink maybe add some more shots with the same aesthetic i want to see what you guys come up with so if you do come up with anything make sure to comment down below a link to whether you're going to post it on instagram on your portfolio send it over let me know i want to see them and again don't forget if you want to grab the project file link down below patreon um it'll also support me with keeping up with these videos and uh buying me a nice little cup of coffee and um if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next and uh subscribe if you're new to the channel I'll see you guys on the next one.